So today is turn of route number four. Now route number four, according to Z Trails, the app is uh, 16.5 kilometers, total elevation gain of 624 meters. So it's not massive. Last time I was here, number one, I ran out of light towards the end of the day, and that footage was almost unusable. And then earlier in the day, on the main descent, the camera just stopped recording. And spoiler alert, it's really fucking good. Right. So we warm up the descent. Oh, we almost hit that off camera rock at the wrong angle. Well, I may be happy with my descending skills. My climbing skills leave a lot to be desired. A lot of it's down to fitness, of course. And a lack thereof. So the first time I came here, I kept thinking, oh, it's gonna descend, it's gonna descend. Getting all excited, getting all G'd up, getting some speed. And then I get to the corner, it'd be like, short climb again. So now I know, <laughs> got a wee bit before it descends properly. This is a descent of sorts, it does go back up. Ooh. Yeah. Not a bad view. Not bad. It's time for the proper fun to begin. Let's go. The old church. Make sure the church. Or oh, what's left of it. <laughs> this descent just gets more and more brutal as you go down. Damp rock slabs, my favourite. Oh, summer grippy, summer slippy. Oh, getting away with it so far. Oh, that's taking a bad line. Oh, kind of. Oh. Stay on, stay on. Yeah. Oh. oh, so many bits. My back wheel's hanging up on. one of the few occasions where, yes, a bit more travel would be nice. Oh, magpie. Collecting some shiny things. Oh. Woo. 
Oh, oh that was harsher than, than I remember. Short stint along the road. Now for a very, very long forest road climb. Fire road. Not overly steep. It just keeps going. So we're basically going up onto that ridge. Uh, up there. So you know that I've said that, you can't see the rest of it. <laughs> Give me a second. Yeah, going up that way to that ridge and then we're going right the way along and then we drop down. And in case you guys are wondering if I'm that stupid where I can't actually point when I'm looking, it's because my camera's on the chin. And there's quite a difference between the chin and my eye, so I have to just hold my finger down here and hope that it's pointing somewhere in the right direction. Like that ridge up there. <laughs> I love my bike. Absolutely love my bike. Looks good, but rides even better. I know I'm not loyal to evil. I don't I'm not loyal to carbon or anything like that. Uh, I have no false pretenses for buying this bike. I demoed it. It was unfucking believable. So I bought one. If it was alloy, I would have bought it as well. If it rode the same, which it would have. Uh, if it was another brand, I would have bought it. It just rides good. Uh, that's the way. That's how your decisions should be made for buying a bicycle. Unless you're on a tight budget, then of course it comes down to money solely. But for me, I put myself into some debt to buy this. <laughs> Even after selling my uh, Nuke Proof Mega and my production previous Shan Hardtail, I still put myself into debt to get this. I've, I've paid it off now, but uh, I just needed to get it. Well, she starts off gradual, that's for sure. Here we go. <laughs> that was awkward. There we go. Oh, I lost the front of Camera Rock. Need to be careful with that. Oh, back out onto the edge of the ridge. I dare not look. I can see it in my peripheral. It's pretty cool. Oh, a wee mouse. I had to abandon its little chestnut or whatever it was. There we go. <laughs> wow. Man, and that slick rock, it is just that, it's slick back in and the front end, we're dancing about in ways that I am not comfortable with. Is that nice? Something. 
Oh, that flat. Ha! Got a bloody flat tyre. Excellent. But I've got a Victoria here, like, you know. I can still ride. Oh, my first flat since getting this day, like, you know. Oh, oh, very steep. Oh, a couple of stumps. Oh, oh with a flat rear, no wonder the back is stepping out. the question whether I need air on my back tire or not. This is actually pretty good. Good grip. Coming straight. Ooh. Not bad. Right, let's see what I can do with this fucking tire. Being next to the river is actually quite handy because now I can wash the tire out in the water, pump it up, and then see where the air's coming out. So that's what I'm going to do. Try to make sure I'm not putting the, any oil or anything in the river, of course. It could be a while. It's on the side wall. That is not good. Worst case scenario. Unfortunately, it can't be repaired because it's on the sidewall. I'm not going to bother sticking a tube in it. I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to push it. I'm just going to push it back home, uh, the motor home, and I'll stick a different tire on it. I brought some spares, so that's a shame. I just got around the corner, and that is what I came down. That is so cool. Well, I'm back up at the motorhome in record time because the very first people that passed me on the road stopped and they gave me a lift. Uh, lovely, lovely people, um, a, a father and son, uh, locals. They spoke excellent English, way better than my Spanish. And uh, they live just along the road and we've, we're more than welcome to pop in if we want. And the guy said it, I shouldn't be out by myself, which is completely right. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's nice to meet some nice people. And it's nice to, to meet people that speak English because there's a very much a language barrier, totally on me, but uh, it gets quite disheartening after a while when you just can't speak to anyone. But um, yeah, what lovely people.